Hello, troops. I was on a new experimental build this morning, having a run around looking for the new small military camps that are dotted all around the map now. I wanted to give you a quick look at the ones that which I found. I spawned down in Berezino, and I quickly made my way to Upper Berezino and found this single tent camp just next to the hospital. Looks quite nice, and a single tent just near the coast isn't uh, that overpowered. As you can see, the tent had a couple of bipods, a packet of ACP rounds, a tanker's helmet, some various other pieces of clothing, so nothing, nothing too obscene. Now, I understand that the developers are wanting to push these out before they start finalising the central loot economy. So I really would advise people not to judge the loot that you find uh, at these individual little camps too soon. I think that's a great idea. The way the military camps were laid out in point six zero, where most people would run up from Cherno, uh, well, they would actually kind of continually kill themselves and run up from Cherno to Pavlovo through Zelenogorsk up to Mishkino, PvP and then repeat. It was kind of instilling a, a kind of boring, monotonous routine to how the game is played. I've always been much more of a wanderer in DayZ. I'll, I'll generally, especially if I'm playing solo, I'll accept my spawn roughly where it is and just head off exploring to see what I can find. Now, so the first type of player I was explaining about there, the one that just spawns on the coast and runs to Mishkino to PvP, this is a bad change for them. I, I've not been to Mishkino yet, but I understand that as a fraction of its size. So after I left Berezino, I headed up the, the road which leaves the town in the northwest, and round about this intersection here, that's where I found the second um, roadblock military camp. Now, there's a couple of things to consider with this. Obviously, the central economy has to be fixed. It, it's not feasible to spawn and within a couple of minutes hit uh, one of these little checkpoint military bases and pick up, as I did at this one, which I'm showing you now. I picked up an AK-74U with a magazine included in it. If we get lots of this kind of uh, gear at these little military checkpoints, people will just spawn run to these little areas and then run straight back to the coast PvP and we end up with a patch much like 0.57 where it's just coastal warfare which in my opinion that's not a game I want to play ever again in this. With the central economy being improved I can imagine a scenario where hopefully at these little checkpoints you may be lucky to find a couple of bits of ammo, maybe a small amount of AK ammo in preparation for when you head up north and find a magazine mid-map then maybe you find only the guns at the very north camps, like Northwest, TZ and Kamensk. There's also the option maybe for the ones closer to the coast is to have some say, fairly decent bits and military clothing and maybe some attachments for your guns, but we really don't want to get to the point where there's SVDs or M4s looting at these mil mil military camps, and I'm pretty sure that's not the intention of the, de the developers anyway. So for someone who's a wanderer like me, this is a very good change. It means I'm going to bump into people searching out these little military camps all over the map. I actually got into a fight, which I'm not going to show you because I didn't actually see any of the uh, players attacking me. I quite fancy heading up to TC now because I know that's been expanded and Kamensk has been expanded. So there seems to be a real push from the developers to move things away from just spawning and running 10 minutes and PvPing and I try, trying to kind of push away f to exploring the map, finding a couple of military tents with some bits and bobs of ammunition, and maybe a gun if you're very lucky, and then moving and pushing you all the way to the north towards Kamensk and ultimately TC in order to find your ultimate weapons and ammunition and supplies which you're going to really need and want. So I hope that you enjoyed this little tour of the couple of camps I've found so far. If I manage to find any more, I'll make another little update video with those ones. Take care guys, see you soon.